All right, let's take a look at our first rule breaker, Gustav Corbet. Corbet had been invited to the salon on the regular and was revered as a masterful painter. However, Corbet eventually felt that his work was not honest. He felt that his work should reflect his own life in people who were more like him. He was work a working man who struggled sometimes to make ends meet, living a very different life than the elite subjects who he often painted. So Corbet started painting regular working class people. This shocked the French Academy of Art. When he unveiled this large painting measuring 10 feet by 22 feet, people expected something flashy and exuberant, but instead it was a dismal and sad realistic scene of a working class burial. Critics accused Corbet of deliberately making something ugly, when in actuality Corbet was just trying to paint a scene as realistically as possible without glorifying the subject. The salon ultimately rejected this painting, but news of its real subject spread very quickly through the middle class and people who had seldom cared about art suddenly became deeply interested in these realism paintings that reflected their own lives. And it actually made Gustave Courbet quite popular and famous um, rather quickly. Um, so another artist who gained a lot of attention from the public for his overtly real paintings of real people was Edward Manet. Manet was not quite as subtle as Courbet, and he chose subjects that were a bit more risque and hard to ignore. The most groundbreaking painting that he unveiled at the salon was his version of an odalisque, which he titled Olympia. Now, I don't want to make this awkward, but an odalisque is a really traditional composition that a lot of academic artists painted. Um, and it simply is a painting of a nude woman reclining. Typically, the painting is supposed to appear like a goddess, similar to the Venus de Milo sculpture that we saw earlier. Here is an example of a typical odalisque that you would see displayed at the salon. This is a classical painting from the Renaissance era titled Sleeping Venus. Though the idea of a woman just lying around in nature in the nude is a strange one, if you look at her face, does she seem to care that we are looking upon her bare body? Mm, not really. She doesn't seem to care that we are looking at her at all, because remember, she is a goddess. She is above us and holy and an object of beauty. 